Hi, welcome. Today I'm going to be teaching you my inked edge technique. I love to use this technique on so many of my designs, whether they're painted or even covered with scrapbook paper. And it's so easy that you're going to probably want to ink all the edges of your products. So for this tutorial, we're going to be painting this cute little heart. And I'm going to go with a nice deep, like burgundy red color. It's called Ella's Alizarin Crimson. That's a mouthful. All right, so like most of my base coats, I'm gonna apply two or three uh, coats until I'm really happy with the finish. And for this, I'm just gonna use my wedge sponge to dab the paint on. You can also use your wedge sponge to drag it on like a paintbrush. In fact, let's go for it. This is really a lot faster. And then the second coat we can go on and do the dab to get a more airbrushed look. And you can use this with, like I said, any colors. For this one, I'm gonna be demonstrating it with black inked edges, but I have used every color imaginable. I've done pinks, I've done browns, I've done blues. It just adds just a little bit of detail and it's such a fast process. All right, so I'm just going ahead and dabbing the second coat and then we'll give it a quick dry and do a third coat really fast. But you can see that this technique is just so fast. It's literally a matter of a few minutes. And a nice thing about this technique is if you want it to be really faint and subtle, you can just go a little bit darker than your original color. Or if you want a more dramatic effect, you can go with a lot different, you know, a lot different color. Like in this case, we're doing the red and the black. If I wanted a more subtle look, I could go up to an even darker shade of red. And you can even layer it. So if you wanna go a little bit darker, and have it come into your uh, shape more and then dry it and then you can come back with an even darker coat and layer in the detailing. You can really add a lot of dimension that way. Okay. Okay, now that it's dry, I'm gonna use that same sponge and then I'm gonna just pick up some black paint. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna kind of still allow some of that red to be present in the color. And then I'm gonna dab it off because it's always easier to layer more color in than it is to try to take out any color. And then I'm just gonna like lightly go around the edges of it. And of course, the more paint that you remove, the softer the edges will be. You can kind of hit some areas farther in than others. But you can see how this is really making the design pop as opposed to just having it be just the solid color. So now that my sponge is nearly colorless, I'm gonna go a little bit farther in, and just kind of add an even softer element to it. But look at how fun that is. And again, you can do this whether you paint your base color or I've done it where I've covered it with scrapbook paper and then just inked the edges. But this just gives you that really nice finished look and really a deep, rich finish. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. And now I'm gonna warn you, you're gonna wanna ink all the edges. So remember sometimes less is more. 
but I'm, I hope that you enjoyed this and I cannot wait to see the creations you make using this technique. And I can't wait for you to keep learning with me as I teach you even more of my favorite techniques. Hey, I hope you've been enjoying these tutorials and learning some of my favorite painting techniques. If you're ready to further your painting journey even more, I'm gonna invite you to join me a couple different ways. If you have a laser, you can join our design studio membership where you get four exclusive designs each month, marketing photos, discount to our website, access to our members only Facebook group where we do even more paint tutorials and so much more. Then you can also join our Create It With Julie with a digital pass. Create It With Julie is our monthly box kit where we mail out unfinished kits and then create them together at the end of the month. But if you have a laser, obviously you don't wanna order wood cutouts from us. So you can join us with a digital pass where you get the file shortly before we create it so you can cut your own wood and supply your own paint and glue and whatnot to join us. If you don't have a laser and you want even more chances to paint with me, then you can join us with our Create It With Julie regular box kit where we mail you out a box with unfinished wood cuts each month and then we paint those and create a project together. So those are just a couple ways for you to continue your painting journey with me. If you have any questions, feel free to email me, julie at juliediditstudios.com. I'll see you later.